You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today's tip comes from Kimberly King. Kimberly prides herself on being a Caribbean change agent. She's a sales professional with 17 years of experience in sales, business development, marketing, and customer service. Here she is. Hi, everyone. I wanted to share an important tip with sales professionals, one that has been definitely my experience and which can help you as well in your sales career. That is handling objections. Now, as a sales professional, we tend to sometimes, especially when we are new to the game of sales, we tend to sort of get inward or feel dejected when we've received that first objection. You know, it's the wrong time or we have competitor X, Y, Z who does an excellent job for us. There's no need for your service. I don't have time. Goodbye. Slam. It's not the end. What that means if you have gotten an objection, for example, one where the potential client is saying to you, it's out of our budget at this time. What that should say to you is that there is some interest However, at this time, hmm, I would like you to address my concern. There's a gray area that I would like you, the sales professional, to overcome so that I am able to understand what you're saying to me in terms of what you're selling. See it as really an opportunity. In my hospitality sales background and my career, what I've realized is a great tip for me to do is rarely do a deep dive on my potential client. Do the research. I have an understanding of who they are. Who has the final say with making the decision? How the company has done in the past with regards to their, you know, just understanding their patterns of behavior, their past suppliers, etc. What are key success factors for them? And basically, I use that information within my sales presentation when I'm having a conversation with a client as to why they should be booking our service. That makes a whole difference. It means that as a sales professional, you have gone ahead and you've been proactive in understanding well who your client is and addressing the possible objections even before they are raised. Yes? Obviously, there may be some follow-up questions, which I would definitely say to you to be calm, to maintain that calmness, listen, to ask your clarifying questions, and reframe those objections in a way that your potential client is going to see the value into contracting with you. For example, if they're saying, time right now is not good, Reframe where you put it across to them that, you know, now is the perfect timing. This is what we are doing for you. This is what your team knows. And having already that research on that potential client, you're able to use it to your advantage. So that's my tip. And thank you so much. For more about Kimberly, just click over to dailysales.tips forward slash 407. Connect with her on LinkedIn and send her an email mentioning that you heard her tip and she'll set up a free 15-minute conversation with you. Once you've done that, be sure to come back tomorrow for another great sales tip. Thanks for listening. (laughs) 